Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'm going to go ahead and do a general message for my Virgos that are dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Now, this is a general message. It may not resonate for everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, okay? Anybody interested in a personal reading? My information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those. And thank you to those who donate to the channel. It's very much appreciated. All right, Spirit, give me the overall energy for my Virgos that are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. So we have weight. Um, I think you got this for fire as well. Interesting. What else would come out? Because I think that came out for if you're dealing with a fire sign. So I don't know if there's a fire sign involved in this situation as well. But this is like waiting to get some more information. It's almost like something ain't clear. Or something needs clarity. Okay, so we have trust and remain positive. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Well, girls that are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Show me. Thank you. Um. Okay, I'm confused. I really feel like this came out in the fire signs as well. A strong woman looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink. I'm hearing we shall overcome. So show me going forward. <laughs> okay, that's too many cards, but um, they're coming out sideways, okay? Any card that comes out sideways for me is a blockage. And I was just saying, I don't know if there is a fire sign involved here. We have the emperor out here, so particularly in Aries. And we also have the moon card. Now, the moon card can talk about secrets. Or it can talk about fear, things that are hidden, things that are unseen, right? Uh, I, I don't know. It's also giving me something about the moon cycle. I'll see why they came out. At the bottom of the deck, we have the death card, which is Scorpio energy, the star, Aquarius. Why did the moon and the emperor come out? The hanged man. Like I said, any card that comes out sideways is a blockage. And then the hangman is a stuck energy. Okay. All right, give me one for going forward. Mm. Thank you. The death card, it came back out. Okay. So Scorpio energy and then the Wheel of Fortune. Something here is happening. And it's almost like I want to say at this very moment. Give me a romance card. I don't know why I'm hearing something about the same sex. Same sex relationship. I don't know. Uh, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. No, not a card for down, a card for going forward. Give me three cards for this situation. Thank you, Spirit. It's almost like somebody has made some sort of mistake or... What is this energy? Thank you. Oops. So we have reconciliation. We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Someone from your past has returned into your life. I, I cannot... I feel like this came out in the fire signs as well. Both of them. So that one, two, three, four cards that I feel like came out in the fire sign. One more. And then you have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. So this may talk about change, transformation. Thank you. Coming out sideways, we have privileged lady. Hmm. 
you have almost coming in the reverse you have the number nine so the number six could be significant here uh, we have change and then we have two coming out we have imprisonment and the great fortune uh, anytime i get cards like this it makes me feel like um it's either someone here is feeling stuck, right? I don't know if someone here is in jail. I don't know if someone here is worried about going to jail because about because of some sort of finances here. Yeah, look at that. Occupation and thief. This also gives me an energy here of somebody maybe being abandoned um, by family members, friends. Bad health, child. Hmm. All right. One card. You have this main male coming out. We've made the effort here. Show me more. Thank you, Spirit. Some focus are dealing with a water sign, cats, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Yeah, do you know what? <laughs> I don't know why they're showing me this. I feel like this is a third party situation somehow. Because even in the fire signs, even though there was this kind of energy of this fire sign wanting to come towards you here, Virgo, there was something that wasn't quite right. It's almost like somebody was in the energy of, I will do anything, say anything to get the outcome that I want. Again, maybe having to do with money. And there was a queen of cups in the background. So I hope this isn't a couple that is trying to work against you somehow. Give me some cards for this. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we have Hammer. It says sabotage, rebuilding, integration. It says repetitive, persistent, working on it. Show me more. You have heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So maybe someone here is leaving a water sign. Maybe someone here is leaving you, Virgo, with the number nine. Someone here is heartbroken about something. But it's almost like, let's say if this person was leaving one person to go to someone else... Spirit said it's meant to happen this way. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Or maybe this breakup is coming up. Maybe it will be even as far as September. But again, when that came out, I said maybe the number six is significant. And the sixth month is June, which is next month. You, yeah, look at this. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So this main male may want to come towards you here, Virgos. To make some sort of effort. But maybe they had to leave somebody else behind. Maybe someone who was a privileged lady. But it came out sideways. So again, maybe this person was a blockage. Hmm. Show me more. Thank you, Spirit. So we have, you got, <laughs> you got a feeling you just can't shake it. It says, that little voice inside you, listen to that shit. So again, you know, like I said, I don't know. Um, all right, show me more. You have, stop sleeping so damn much. It says, wake up, you're missing some cool shit. So maybe someone's dealing with someone who is lazy. I'm hearing that song by Beyonce, Let Me Cater To You. So I don't know if someone is dealing with someone in that energy where they just feel like, hey, you're supposed to wait on me hand and foot. You're supposed to do this for me. You're supposed to do that for me. It's almost like somebody says jump and they want you to say how high. You have, you are the best thing to ever happen to you. It says go easy on your ass, buy your own damn drinks. So someone's definitely um, drinking here. Yeah, you're a hot mess. Fact, clean yourself up. I 
All right, Spirit, show me more about this situation. Look at that, the Ace of Water wanting to come in the reverse. So maybe this is someone who didn't want... I don't know. I don't know if this is someone who um, didn't want someone to reconcile with somebody. Ace of Cups coming in the reverse, right? Sabotage. Repetitive, persistent, working on it. But the Ace of Cups came in the reverse. Show me more. And look at that. Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. So, ooh, there you have truth and expression. So this is somebody who's hiding some sort of truth. Now, maybe somebody wants to tell you some sort of truth, but I don't know why they're hiding. Fear, probably. Not sure if you're going to be open and receptive towards them. Celebration, gift, and abundance. Chemistry and passion. Dark night of the soul. Give me one more. Memories and nostalgia. With the separation. So someone's definitely thinking about somebody here. Definitely in deep thoughts. Give me one more spirit. <laughs> Past lack and suffering. Yeah, someone here is suffering because of some sort of choices that they made here. Oh, tarot. All right, give me a few cards for this. A strong woman looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink. Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Wands with the Four of Swords. I'm also hearing something about maybe somebody giving somebody some sort of STD, but I mean, I definitely feel like it's something that was curable. Show me more. What is that? Oh, that's the truth. Ace of Swords, okay. Or well, at least it was curable, right? It just means you, someone here needs to be a lot more careful about, you know, who they're sleeping with, you know, kind of energy. Yeah, the sun and the tower. And the King of Cups. I don't know if there is a baby here that is, you know, maybe it's shocking news to someone. But it feels like there's an energy here of someone who maybe drinks or when it when they party in or whatever, you know, they get up to. It's almost like when they indulge in certain things, it's almost like this energy of somebody getting carried away. Give me some tarot cards. A strong woman looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink. So we have, oops, the Empress in the reverse. Show me more. Okay, Spirit, wow. Someone didn't see the bigger picture of someone. It's almost like someone may have been coming across as the Empress in the upright. But the Empress in the reverse is someone who is, um, she's not fruitful. You know, she's not abundant. She's not really able to manifest. This is someone who may be greedy, um, someone who doesn't know their self-worth here. This could be a bad mother. Um, I'm hearing neglectful. What is the Empress in the reverse? the swords someone who is a liar someone who will do anything say anything to get the outcome that they want let me see give me one more card thank you for it yeah, this is someone who, you know, they need, okay, 
this may be also someone who comes across as codependent. Um, this is someone who needs security. Yeah, low self-esteem. Oh, the Six of Swords. So this is also feels like, you know, someone who... Because the Six of Swords in the upright, it talks about moving to calmer waters here. It talks about moving away from the Five of Swords. This feels like someone who wants to stay in that um, energy of competition, that energy of competing, that energy of lying, I'll do anything, like I said, say anything so that they get the outcome that they want. It just feels, um, one more, Queen of Cups. <laughs> so this may be a female water sign. This could be someone who is also um, over-emotional. Could even be emotional um, manipulation they may try to use, especially if you have children with them. Spirit, show me going forward. What is this death card? Because I see the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if someone here is going to choose to be single and concentrate on their finances, their work. What is this death card? We have the ace of swords. The king of wands told you something about a fire sign here. Maybe you just have fire highly aspected in your chart here. But there is some truth or this king of what king of swords, I said. But this king of wands, which is fire, you know, they could be seeing the truth in this situation. But show me more. What is this ace of swords and the king of wands? Thank you, spirit. The hermit, which is your energy. So maybe, like I said, maybe you have fire in your chart. Maybe you are really looking at what it is that you invested in with this person. Has it worked for you? Do you want to invest that last pentacle in this situation? And it's almost like I'm hearing spirits saying, or do you want to pick up this last pentacle and take it as the ace of pentacles and start something new? Decisions, choices. One more. Eight of Wands talks about fast movement forward. This also talks about incoming um, information. This could also talk about backwards and forwards communication. One more on this Eight of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. The devil. Aye, aye, aye. I don't know if somebody feels bound to this person. But the devil, it talks about a karmic connection. It talks about toxicity. It talks about low vibrations. It talks about codependency. Look at the, the devil and the lovers. Someone has a choice here. Because some of you may not have to do with another relationship. But do you want a relationship that is looked over by the devil? Controlled by the devil, controlled by darkness? Or do you want a relationship? Well, I almost want to say that is blessed by the heavens. Justice. What is the right thing to do? You have, look at it. You have the star card. It talks about hope, it talks about healing, it talks about balance. And then there's that Ace of Pentacles down with the Two of Cups. What do you want to do with that Seven of Pentacles, that last pentacle? Could have been someone here, could have been with someone for six years, 12, whatever. But there's an opportunity here. Make a choice. Someone here needs to bring some sort of balance back into their life. This person here, Empress in the reverse, Six of Swords in the reverse. I don't see any desire to change i don't see any desire to be better i see someone in their emotions in their feelings six of swords with the five of swords what does that make the 11 two of swords almost like somebody wants to keep you stuck 
But let's get a romance card. Thank you, Spirit. Ah, uh, you got two. Okay, so let's see. So we have trust. It says transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, you will automatically transform. Someone here doesn't look like they're willing to accept something. I'm hearing it again. Hell no, you won't go. And look at the, the word acceptance again. <laughs> it says acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So Virgos, if you were trying to stick around to hope that help you, if you were trying to stick around to help this person change, Spirit says you can't heal people. It starts from within. Archangel Michael, give me a card. So I can end this reading. Thank you. Okay. So the first one we have, it says, recognize the signs from above. We already have the eight of wands out here with the hermit. Your ancestors and your angels are trying to show you some sort of truth about a situation here. It says, angels are sending you messages now, but you are too distracted to notice. Stay alert and open to divine guidance. Then you have number 35, which boils down <laughs> also to an eight. <laughs> the eight of wands. Someone here needs to pay attention to whatever this eight of wands is. Like I said, the hermit. Someone here needs to dig deep. Wait. So it says, trust the guidance you're receiving. It says, Archangel Ariel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so that you can trust your divine guidance. So I'm going to leave it there. Virgos, that's what I have. <laughs> if you're dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If anything in the reading did resonate with you, I ask that you do hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.